Come on, bros. Move into one here. Let's go. Stop! 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 People don't know this but in mario 3 nintendo already had the idea of the infinite fly okay with the p-wing right but that's on an item and you only get to use it once or if you have you know five p-wings you get to use it five times but with the raccoon tail if you build p-speed and start flying everyone knows that you can't fly forever so they had already had the idea you know that Nintendo was like, if they get the raccoon tail, can they fly forever? They're gonna, they say to themselves, no, because they'll just fly over the level. Okay, well, let's have some fun and give them a P-Wing. And then they can do it every once in a while, whenever they want. In Super Mario World, they were like, nah, whatever. In Super Mario World, they were just like, yeah, I'll give them the cape. I'm not talking in terms of category. I know there's a no cape category. What I'm saying, in general, this game versus that game... The very fact that you had to make a category, no cape, kind of proves my point. There's no category, Mario, no raccoon tail. <laughs> what possible reason would there be to ban the raccoon tail, other than a stupid-ass reason, which is being able to fly forever. <laughs> but Super Mario World, because it was on the Super Nintendo, expanded so much more. Like, Super, like the Yoshi stuff. The power-ups were kind of bleh, like the... Fire Flower Mario World, I never really liked. I thought it was so weird. The fireballs are, like, smaller or something. I don't know. It's weird. Um, all the different levels, all the secrets, the overworld map was way, way crazier. So many secrets and exits. The Switch Palaces were so cool. The Spin Jump. The Spin Jump has got to be the dumbest idea, but the best in the world, right? What kind of crack were they smoking when they were like, Oh, I know. Let's have Mario spin on spiked enemies. That's a good... Like, who thought of that? It was a good thought. That was a good idea, man. The spin jump, to me, is one of the best features in Super Mario World. I love the spin jump. I think it's I think it's really cool. I also like the re-grabs as well. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Spiked enemies, ghosts. Spike balls, like a whole bunch of crap, right? The ultimate meat debate. There's a meat debate going on. Yeah, we were talking about this a few days ago. Right, the idea of being able to hold an item underwater and swim faster, amazing. Turn turn blocks, amazing. Broke it, but amazing. Oh, this RNG, guys. Nice duck input. Uh, I did some speed runs of Mario Brothers 2. Yeah, I like that game. Pause strat was just a coincidence. It had nothing to do with anything. SMB2 is a great speedrun because it's like global timers, so... When you make a mistake and the game doesn't work out, it's entirely your fault. 
the entire thing is your fault. to dinner. So, you guys think you're gonna win the minigame, huh? You think you're gonna win, huh? Do ya? You're not. You're not gonna win anything. Dude, somebody's voting for the reset. Wow, nice guess with the billions. <clears throat> yeah, I like getting in depth with uh, what's better and what's not better with like Super Mario World and Mario Brothers 3. Sorry I'm quiet right now, I'm just kind of in the middle of eating, and this run is actually pretty good. Move forward. I feel like I'm gonna fight the Hammer Brother right now. certain this game is impossible for the blindfold. I'm pretty positive. Thank you. 
Thank you. I work really hard to be good at this game. Killing that piranha plant gets rid of the lag. It's not for swag. It has a purpose. Lag swag. There you go. Yo, Cab, what's up, man? Saucer, I like bacon. Well, when I go to restaurants, I get sausage because I have bacon. I have breakfast bacon at home forever. I never have morning or breakfast sausages at home. So when I go to restaurants, I always get sausage because I like breakfast sausages. They're really good. I never get bacon when I go to restaurants because I like my bacon the way I like my bacon. And for the most part, restaurants do get bacon, right? But I don't chance it. There's nothing worse than having bacon you don't like. That's like the start of a bad day, right? That's how you start a bad day. I like crispy bacon. But I also like my bacon on sandwiches. I like my bacon crumbled in uh, scrambled eggs. I like my bacon crumbled in um, my uh, hash browns. Like sometimes I'll make hash browns, right? So I'll cook a pot of hash browns. And then near the end of the hash browns, I'll crack like four eggs over them. I'll crack like four or five eggs over the hash browns, mix it all together. When the bacon's finished cooking, I cut it up, cut it into like bacon bits pretty much, sprinkle the bacon bits over all of the hash browns. And then I have like an egg potato bacon party mix with, the, with peppers and onions and stuff. And then if I really want to go to the, to the top, top tier, I put it in a uh, wrap. I'm almost there. Oh my gosh. I like mayo. Are off-screen wall grabs only available in boss stages with platforms? Yes. Yes. Actually, no. You can do it in every boss. But you can do it in every boss room. I've gotten an off-screen wall grab in every single boss room. But in order to do it in worlds 3 and 6 is a little more hectic. Mayonnaise isn't that gross. Have you seen the ingredients in mayo? It's not that bad. Mustard's good, sure. Not a lot of it, but I like mustard. I've always liked mustard. I like ketchup too. My brother was the uh, ketchup on everything uh, child, though. Not me. When I, even to this day, I'm still not a put that on everything kind of person. I don't have one of those things. My brother, he liked ketchup on everything. 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 Right? Some people like mayo on absolutely everything. Some people like mustard on everything. I'm not like that. They, they're... The things that go on specific things, like, I won't put mayo on a hot dog. That doesn't make any sense. I've had mayo on hot dogs, but 
I don't like, you know, it doesn't need to be on a hot dog. Honey mustard pretzels. Yeah, see, that's pretty cool. It's all, for me, it's all, it all depends on what it is. Like, some people are like, I put barbecue sauce on my vegetables, right? Some people are like that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just I'm not like that. Like, I love mayo, but mayo only goes on specific things for me. I won't have a slice of toast with mayo on it. What the fuck is that? I'll put peanut butter on it. If I have a steak sandwich, I'm not going to put mayo on it. But if I have a ham sandwich, I'll put mayo on it. I also put mayo on my breakfast sandwich. Yep. BLT and I toast the bread and put mayo on the bread. Good. I put Frank's on a good chunk of stuff, but not everything. I like a couple drips of Frank's on my rice. Tastes pretty good. I like a lot of Frank's on my boneless chicken wings. I like a lot of Frank's on that. Uh, that's... I like Frank's on my steak and pork chops. Sure, why not? Well, I don't put Frank's on, on pasta. I don't put Frank's on that. What the fuck's that? Pasta's already got its own thing going on. I would never put Franks on. Yeah, pasta's like its its own thing. It's like it's it's on the different islands they've never met before. How many people here uh, grew up never eating veal? Like veal cutlets and stuff. The veal cutlets, in my house growing up, my mom actually made it uh, pretty often. And I know how bad it is. I know I know what what veal is, but I can't deny the like I ate it a bunch when I was a kid. I don't think I would serve my children veal just because of like its origins and like how it's kind of made i don't really like that process veal is good but i don't like what they do with it like at least before they kill a cow like the cow had a pretty dope and dope and eventful life at least to the cow it did you know Maybe, maybe baby cows have an okay life. I don't know. I've never had salsa on mac and cheese before. Animals don't have souls. It's okay. Yeah, was the universe... Did the universe show mercy when the asteroid hit us with the dinosaurs? I don't think so. What's a couple baby cows, you know? Compared to the entire extinction. Come on, universe. Show some mercy on the poor dinosaurs. The atmosphere, the birds, the oxygen. Come on, now. I bet dinosaurs were delicious too. Imagine going to the market and buying a T-Rex leg. They probably call the other part the, the chest of Rex. Uh, yeah, could I get uh, two chest of Rex, please? Um, uh, the kid would like a side order of T-Rex fingers, please. <laughs> Sounds horrible, but...
Dino meat exists, just have alligator. Tyrannosaurus breast. Yes, okay, okay. Please don't bring religion into this conversation. We were having so much fun. But birds can be so smart and cute. I don't wanna... I can't, I don't know. I don't judge vegans, but I myself, I don't think, I've, I don't know, I've got my own personal opinions. I don't, I don't think they matter. I don't think it's worth, it's not worth the debacle at any point. I don't think I would eat penguin eggs. No, thank you. All I'm gonna say is sign me up when all my meals are reduced to one single pill and it's healthy and proven to be okay for me and it's perfect. I'm down for that. I don't want Soylent, none of that weird stuff. I know that stuff's proven and all that stuff, but no thanks. I wouldn't miss the taste of food. I mean, I probably would. Let's face it. I don't think... I don't... I've never been able... I've never gone without food, so I've never been tested. But... I, um... Food is, uh, food is a very scary addiction, and if there's something I learned from my addiction from smoking cigarettes and quitting cigarettes is that food is a very powerful and scary addiction, and a lot of it is caused by the manipulation of flavor and lots of different things, and it scares me. I'm afraid that by the time I'm 40-something, I still haven't gotten over the fact that I like eating McDonald's all the time. <laughs> And that's scary. So that's why I'm I'm pro. Just give me a pill with all my vitamins and nutrients, and uh, it allows me to not starve. And then I'm good. Yo, take it easy, JP. I hope you sleep well, man. Have a good night. So quit food. This guy's too weak. He can't quit food. I know, it's, a, it's always a struggle, man. Monitoring your food, dieting, eating healthy, and being good, and all that crap is a very big battle. Very big battle. No, I've seen, I've seen how McDonald's food is made. Watch a video on how all food is made. Alright guys, if we talk any more about evolution, religion, or any of other any of that stuff right now, we're gonna be we're gonna be dishing out 10 minute timeouts to anyone, anyone who does it, because it's just an annoying conversation and it's just waiting for people to get upset and trigger a reason for someone to just spat off a bunch of shit that nobody cares about. Nobody cares about your opinions on religion, nobody gives a shit about your opinions on 
on any of that shit. Nobody cares, man. Nobody gives a fuck. You just you. Anyone who's talking about it, you're you're just reading your own messages. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your theory of evolution and, and any of that shit. Nobody nobody cares. Nobody cares. Stop talking about it. Whoever you are, any of you guys, just stop. Nobody cares. I would like to hear your opinion on McDonald's. Yes, that is way more important. That provides me a lot more value. It's helping you a lot lately, wanting to hear your thoughts. Um, the idea of it, I guess, when I first heard about it, the idea kind of like scared me a little bit, right? Because I thought about it and it was like... The, I first learned about it through Jakku. When I went to Jakku's house, he had it, and I was like, oh my god, what, like, what is that? And he's like, he's like, it's my liquid meals, pretty much. So, the flavor is one thing that kind of turned me off a little bit. I was like, I don't, I don't know if I can drink that if it doesn't taste good. Because I have a very sensitive kind of, like, gag reflex. Like, I have to cut the fat off of, like, steak. If I, like, swallow the fat on steak, I'll, like, kind of, like, be sick a little bit. So, the flavor could potentially do that. And then... I was unsure if it was healthy for me. If you have any facts towards those... Towards what I'm saying, I would definitely like to know. I mean, I know people have had sponsorships through it, and I know some people... Drink soy then you become a soy boy. Yeah, it all depends. I guess I didn't know. When I first came across Soylent, I didn't know enough, so I just disregarded it. I wonder if that was faster. I got rid of some leg. Soylent is not as sustainable as your only food source. You will die. Uh, I think it's been proven that people can live off of Soylent. I'm not sure, though. Absolute rancid farts, my own co-worker. What? Oh! <laughs> Damn, dude, that's horrible. Pokemon edible. I'm sure you could kill some Pokemon and cook them up. That would be horrible. Yeah, no, I guess I guess I'm not a valid opinion. I mean, I've never tried Soylent before. I don't want to get like addicted to it though, right? Because my mindset is eating is somewhat of a burden. I don't like eating. I don't like how expensive it is. I don't like how like society has cherry cream cheese pie is setting up on the see see what the shit i gotta go through i got a cherry cream cheese pie right now setting up in the fridge and you're gonna tell me i can't have some not exclusive but i'm getting a lot better nutrition and since i don't really like food in general it's been helpful yeah see that sounds that sounds pretty good and you're probably saving some good money unless is soylent kind of expensive Moltres is basically already cooked, pretty much. Charizard meat self-roasting. So, so what didn't you replace, Glitch Cat? What do you, um, what do you still throw in there? Like breakfast or something? What do you, what do you, what, um, what, yeah, what don't you skip? Like, uh, like a meat? Oh, that was it, dude. I finally got it. How can you drink something and not just be hungry after? Well, see, that's well, that's the other thing with Soylent that I wanted to ask. The Soylent, maybe one meal. Yes, yeah, snacks. Okay, I I, I assume snacks, chips. Nobody, I would never believe anyone if they were like, I cut chips out of my life. 
Chips are the silent killer. I don't think I'll ever stop eating chips. It's hard, man. Chips. Chips are definitely my silent killer. Doritos, man. Doritos. Watch out, guys. I just got a Man of Steel follow. 314. He's coming. He's coming, guys. Get ready, mods. If there was a kind of chip that was healthier among the rest, would Doritos be it? Are Doritos okay for you? I know the crap they put on Doritos is bad. There you go. Haxer just searched him and banned him anyways. Gone. Peace, buddy. You don't like Doritos? You're making that up. I'm not falling for your story. I know you made that up. It was fake. You could probably got your wife to type that because you couldn't go through with it. Yeah, I don't believe you. Spicy Doritos are my favorite. Yo, Glitch Cat, welcome to the fam, dude. Right on. Spicy Doritos are their top tier Dorito. I think they sell Spicy Doritos the most. Spicy Doritos are the only Doritos that haven't actually been cycled out of the Dorito uh, flavor family. You guys remember a flavor called Bold Barbecue? You don't. You don't remember it because it got cycled out. Cool Ranch has been cycled out, but it was brought back fast. You guys remember when Doritos used to do the competitions and like commercials and stuff? For like coming up with your own flavor of Doritos? They had guacamole. Guacamole. Yeah, they had guacamole. Sweet chili heat? Uh, sweet chili heat's okay. Sweet Chili Heat's definitely okay. Not, not my top tier. Ranch Dorito, yeah, some Doritos, they just don't make the cut. This is another Jesus clip run, boys. It's because we keep getting movements of four, it's fucking bullshit. Yeah, see, they did lots of like competitions. That's pretty cool, man. Winning up some of those competitions. Yes. Everyone can pray to the Jesus clip. Salsa Faraday. Yeah, a lot honestly guys, a lot of Doritos don't make it. Right now, if I go to my grocery store, it'll be Spicy Doritos, Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch is the Christmas Dorito. You can't you can't get rid of the Christmas Doritos. Cool Ranch legitimately has red and green on them. The Christmas Doritos, man. You can't get rid of those. Yeah, if I go to my store, it'll be Cool Ranch, spicy, and then regular. And then I think they do the mystery pack. I think they still have the mystery pack out where you never know what Dorito you're getting. Cool Ranch does not suck. You're just not cool enough to understand the flavor. When you taste it, your brain can't process the amazing flavor, so you don't understand. It's not my fault. Never eat Doritos, it almost made you choke. Do you know what I almost choked on? Those soft Chips Ahoy cookies. I was in high school and I was really, really stoned. And I had crazy pasties, and then I had one of those soft, soft served Chips Ahoy cookies, and it was so, it was like sand in my mouth, and I couldn't swallow because I had no moisture. I thought I was going to die. Yeah, the soft serve, man. Don't you guys remember those chips? They're probably still on your shelves at stores. 
The soft, soft cookies. Cotton milk and dry cookies is a bad mix. Yeah, I had a bad time, man. It was at a sleepover, too, I remember. I was having a sleepover. Yeah, I still had sleepovers in high school. I'm not, I'm not ashamed. I lived for sleepovers. I probably had a sleepover every weekend. Dude, this guy is just on crack for these movements of four. I've probably lost like 15 seconds in this run. You once choked on an ice cube, but it melted. <laughs> it's like, if you're gonna choke on something, that would be the thing. Well, just this hammer, brother. Just this one music box hammer, brother, has been really bad tonight. Really bad. Look, now he's stuck. I have to go for Jesus Clip. And... My duck input didn't register, so that's awesome. 